I'm out for a walk in my local state park. I'm going to do some close-up photography, near macro photography, I guess. I don't have a dedicated macro lens. I wanted to come out and photograph some of the flowers in the area, perhaps some of the insects as well. It's a beautiful day out, and uh, it's just another aspect of landscape photography that I enjoy. I don't do a lot of macro uh, photography, but it's always fun just to get out, spend a little bit more time looking at the details in nature that you find looking at uh, uh, the beautiful plant life that's out here. So let's see what we can find and uh, get photographed. So it's a beautiful day out. Got some clouds in the sky, so shouldn't be any harsh lights that we have to avoid. And I think there'll be enough light to get some photos. So I'm down in here trying to get these compositions, and I tell you one thing definitely different about the close-up and macro photography is it takes a lot more time to get the compositions correct. She got such a small subject in the frame so close and getting it in focus getting it composed is uh, a lot more tedious than getting let's say a larger vista landscape you still have to look for the same things what are the distractions what my background looks like and all of those things but it's uh, I, I can't emphasize enough how much more work it is just trying to get it composed everything in frame waiting for the wind to die down here to get these uh, I think these are golden rods should mention the what I'm using for setup so I've got my Tamron uh, standard zoom lens on that 28 to 75 I've got a uh, uh, extension tube on it for macro photography I think it's the 1.6 from Mikey I think that's how you pronounce it m-e-i-k-e -E. And that definitely helps with being able to get closer and improve the magnification. I also sometimes shoot with my Sony 100 to 400. Um, and that's nice because I can stay back a little bit further, uh, especially if there's a lot <laughs> of bees that I um, don't want to get stung by. But these guys aren't aggressive at all. There are a few bees around that I've got uh, um, composed in, in, the, in the shot. So anyway... Um, Right now, said 28 to 75, using different uh, shutter speeds, different apertures, depending on the look that I'm trying to get. It's just a gorgeous day. It's just nice to hang out out here, uh, to be honest with you. But as I mentioned before, getting the compositions for this close-up photography is a lot more tedious, a lot more fine adjustments, and it's, a, it's another reason why I'm glad I don't have my... Um, ball head anymore instead I've got the Acrotec so I can get a little bit more precise movement on it I can level my base and then adjust from there came across this beautiful scene 
Just trying to find the way to compose it right now. I've got a couple issues. The backgrounds, the trees are a little close, so I'm trying to isolate it as much as possible. So this looks like one good composition. Got the goldenrod in front. Got the tree isolated against the sky the best I can. Got a little bit of wind, so I'm going to let that die down a little bit so I don't need to focus stack because that's fairly close. I'm shooting with my 28 to 75 at probably about 40 millimeter. Well, I think that's going to do it for the day. I'm going to head on home. Hopefully I got some good shots. If not, it was just absolutely gorgeous to be out here today. Looking at the details a little bit more than usual. Uh, getting the shots uh, composed and formatted, as I said, are a little bit more challenging for this, uh, let's call it detailed landscape or near macro photography. And I really enjoy doing this. Like I said, it gets me closer to nature, learning a little bit more about the plants and the insects that are out here. And uh, also, as I said, it stretches my composition skills and exposure skills as well. So I encourage you all to give it a try. And uh, most importantly, get outside.